ready to sing and hear stories and have fun with us. I'm Miss Kelsey. And I'm Pastor Will. Let's go! Hey friends, it's time for us to sing our Advent song, He Came Down. And we've talked for the past couple of weeks about how this song has four verses. And we talked the first week of Advent about how Jesus came so that we can have love. Mm -hmm. And then the second week, we talked about how Jesus came to be the light of the world so mm -hmm. that we can have light. This week, and you'll see our third candle is lit. And we're talking about how Jesus came so that we can have peace. Mm -hmm. One of the prophecies about Jesus' birth said that Jesus would be called the Prince of Peace. And peace, it means that there's not conflict, and not just between people, but also in ourselves. That when things are sad, when things are scary, when, when we don't know how we feel about things, we can trust Jesus to give us peace. That mm -hmm. Jesus came into the world to give us peace. So let's sing together. He came down that we may have love. He came down that we may have love. He came down that we may have love. Hallelujah forevermore. He came down that we may have light. He came down that we may have light. He came down that we may have light. Hallelujah forevermore. He came down that we may have peace. He came down that we may have peace. He came down that we may have peace. Hallelujah forevermore. He came down that we may have joy. He came down that we may have joy. He came down that we may have joy. Hallelujah forevermore. Hi friends, it's time for our Bible story. Cut. I'm not gonna get it again. I'll just edit it. <laughs> I gotta check with my mom back. Okay. Hi, friends. It's time for our Bible story today. Now, last week we heard the story of Mary visiting her cousin Elizabeth, who was also expecting a baby. Today, our story talks about Elizabeth's husband Zechariah after her baby John was born. Let's read together. When their baby boy was just eight days old, Elizabeth and her husband Zechariah took the baby to the temple. It was time to give the baby a name. They chose the name John. Shh, Elizabeth said, baby John is sleeping. But Zechariah couldn't keep quiet. Even if John was sleeping, Zechariah had to share the words God gave him with all the people in the temple. Zechariah was so excited that he sang the good news from God. Zechariah's song told about two babies, John and Jesus. First, Zechariah sang about Jesus. Jesus is coming. Jesus will bring a new beginning. Jesus will turn enemies into friends. Jesus will give us the courage to do good things. Suddenly, baby John woke up and began to fuss. So then Zechariah sang about John. You, John, will be a special friend of Jesus. You will help people get ready for Jesus by baptizing them. You'll even baptize Jesus someday. You will share the news far and wide that Jesus will come to help us and care for us. Zechariah's song acted as a lullaby for his son. Soon John fell back asleep. 
He dreamed of days that were ahead. Shh, Elizabeth said. Baby John is sleeping. It's time to take him home. So Elizabeth and Zechariah took sleeping baby John back home. Zechariah was so excited about the birth of John and the coming birth of Jesus that he couldn't keep all of that good news to himself. Have you ever gotten good news that was just too exciting to keep into yourself? How do you share when you get news like that? Do you sing? Do you dance? Do you yell? How do you share good news? about Zachariah and the joy that he felt when his baby John was born. And now we're gonna take some time to pray. And this week we're gonna do the slingshot prayer. So we're gonna take and make our little box again and we're gonna whisper our prayers into our box. And when we're ready, we're gonna slingshot them towards the sky. Are you ready? Make your little box. And when I get to three, we'll slingshot our prayers. One, two, three. Most gracious God, thank you so much that you are the Prince of Peace and you bring peace to this world even when it doesn't feel peaceful. Lord, be with us this week that we may be peacemakers and peacekeepers with our friends, with our families, and with those around us. We love you. Amen.